decision to gouge an almost double interest rate rise from its unsuspecting customers. Most of them would love to give the $16 million CEO, Ralph Norris, a piece of their mind, except no one can find him. Do you have any idea where, where Ralph Norris might be? I have not the slightest idea. But these people never submit themselves to proper scrutiny. Do you know where Ralph Norris is? No, I can't help you. I'm sorry. Maddie, do you know where Ralph is? <laughs> oh, look, it's a public relations nightmare. You don't know where Ralph Norris is, do you? <laughs> no, somewhere probably very nice, though. Where in the world is Ralph Norris? You don't know where Ralph Norris is at all, do you? Uh, that, we'll need to talk to our media department, I'm sorry. Today, the boss of the Commonwealth Bank is still missing in action, as the public relations disaster over its shock interest rate rise continues to grow, along with public anger. What's wrong? You should front up to what's happening. Do you think he needs to front up? Well, if he was a man, he would. This is going to cost the Commonwealth Bank dearly. It's already cost it in public perception. Ralph Norris earns a cool 16 million a year. He lives here in this luxurious mansion on Sydney Harbour and has this weekend getaway in New Zealand. 2GB broadcaster Alan Jones is furious that the bank boss won't face his critics. Uh, basically, the public think they're grubs for behaving in this way and they find it unconscionable that some bloke can be earning $16 million a year while whacking up interest rates on a battler out there on $45,000 a year. It doesn't, it doesn't add up. So just where in the world is Ralph Norris? Well, as it turns out, he left the country before the Commonwealth announced its hefty rate rise. Speculation was rife that he'd gone as far as he could. LA, Washington, Chicago, New York. Now we've heard he's in China. Where's Ralph? Um, it sounds like one of those game shows. What do you think about Ralph Norris doing a runner overseas before the bad news was delivered? Very convenient. How should customers feel about Ralph Norris being missing in action? I guess if I was a customer of Commonwealth Bank and I was paying too much compared to everyone else in the marketplace, I'd be pretty annoyed. Finance guru Mark Burris says Ralph Norris and the CBA has some explaining to do. How would you describe the way that, that the Commonwealth Bank and Ralph Norris has handled this from a PR point of view? Well, shock and surprise. And I mean, from a huge organisation as big as that, they're the biggest bank in the country. I'm surprised that it came out that way and I'll guarantee it was, certainly wasn't designed to come out that way. I think from a public relations point of view, it was a, a shocker. Disaster. Have you said it? A shocker. Do you think the boss of the Commonwealth Bank needs to step forward and explain this interest rate decision? Definitely, definitely, because it seems that Commonwealth are always the ones that are the first to put up the rates the highest, aren't they? I don't know whether or not they envisage the outrage that's come out. Aussie so, John Simon uh, says it's uh, only a matter of time before all the other banks jump on the bandwagon. The other banks are probably having a bit of a chuckle. Uh, letting uh, Combank cop all the steam, but the bad news is the rest will follow. Come home, Mr Norris, face the music. There's a spare chair in the Channel 9 studio, there's a spare chair in my studio. Try answering a couple of questions. You won't, he won't, because he doesn't know the answers, or he's too frightened to face the answers. We probably won't like the answers anyway. Well, we've met some...